on. No way, really? Yeah. Yo, sick. At first oh I my god, some... it's a tank. It's a tank, bro. Like... Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. What is up guys? My name is Dennis Feltz. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. So I know this is not my normal intro. I'll usually be out there next to the pond or lake and just talk about it there. But it's raining outside, so I'm going to wait till the rain stops. But last time I was fishing, I was using these two poles, which each have four pound tests on. These are both my trout fishing poles, light tackle. And I'm just going to put on some eight pound tests and I'm just going to go with it till I have better tackle. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, see you guys there. I don't even know what to say. Like It stopped raining for about an hour. And then I waited another hour to make sure. And then I came out here. And then I was like, okay, so it's finally gonna stop raining. And then about, you know, 15 minutes later, it's raining again. Yay. There we go. No way, really? Yeah. Yo, sick. At first oh I my god, some... it's a tank. It's a tank, bro. Like... Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. Yo. Oh. Oh, 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 god. My god. oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, you gotta bring it over to shore. Freaking, freaking... Oh. Yo, it's a toad. I got you, I got you. Bring it over to shore, bro. It's a... Oh my god, I got you. It's a toad, bro. Oh my ass, dude. Oh, I see. Oh my god. Oh, that thing's huge! Bro, bro, oh my god! Bring it over the Bring, bring, bring it! Bro, that thing's a toad! Me, that thing's an actual toad! I'll pull it through, I'll pull it through. It's gonna get in the way. Bro! Don't lose! Grab it, grab it! Nathan, grab it! Grab it! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! That thing's a toad! On, That's a beauty! Oh my god, that's gotta be like a five. Yo, I got you with the pick, man. Yo, that thing's a toad. Alright, smile for the camera. I didn't even know they were that big in here. Jesus. Perfect. I gotta like get my mom down here with my phone. Here, I wanna see this thing. I can send it to you. She won't let me have anybody's number. Yo. Right. You got oh. Instagram or Snapchat it's a toad. or something? You get a thumbnail, it can be my you could be my thumbnail, bro. Well hurry up, bro. Turn it down. Alright guys, so I, it's a weird outro, I don't usually do something like this, but I want to go over a couple things. I know I didn't catch any fish in my video, I'm sorry about that. If you guys didn't know, Justin's is, hasn't been restocked in two years, which means I haven't been able to, like, be able to catch much fish in two years. Like, when I started going there, I, you know, I was catching, you know, 10 bass each time. Later, then I was catching trout and stuff, you know. They haven't restocked it, and I, I'll go there. And I just won't be able to catch anything, so I've like put up something. So I'm gonna talk to the city council, which is a little bit strange because how young I am. But I'm gonna talk to them about either making a catch and release only, or restocking the pond every single year with trout, bass, sunnies, you know, all that good stuff, and just you know keep restocking it so people like me who actually love fishing there will be able to keep fishing there, and also have a lot of fish to catch, and you know just have some more fun. But I used to go there and catch a lot of trout, catch a lot of bass, catch a lot of sunnies. Now I go and I can barely even catch a bass, which makes me so mad. So here's my week. So I started going to Justin's this on, on Wednesday. I went there after I got home from work at 3 o'clock till 9 o'clock at night and had zero luck. No bites, no nothing. Just fished. I deleted all the footage. Went to a uh, Thursday. Fished from, uh, well, it was about 4 o'clock on Thursday. 4 o'clock till about 8 o'clock, so only 4 hours. No luck at all. Not even a bite. Friday, I went, which was yesterday, I actually had a whole bunch of bites. I had a lot of bites on a frog. I never was able to stick anything, but my friend caught his PB bass. I think it was about six pounds. It was a big bass, so this is the only reason I'm making the video for you guys, for you, AJ. Other AJ, I was fishing with actually two AJ said that. A little strange, I know. But I just want to make this video just how much fun I had and how much time I put into this. So I fished probably 20 hours this week without catching a single fish. Then Saturday, today, I got home from work at, th at 2 o'clock. I went out at, you know, around 2.30, 3 o'clock to Jessen's is where I usually fish. I had a couple bites, you know, nothing worth recording or anything or putting into this video. And I had a couple bites, not a single fish. Then I'm like, okay, you know, I can't do this. 
So at about 5 o'clock, I went to a pond near Fleet Farm, and then I went to one near Target. And I had a couple bites. I was throwing a Texas rig, a weedless Texas rig, without any weight or anything. And I had a couple bites. Nothing really, you know, interesting. Just a couple bites. But then, at later at night, I finally was able to get a nice bite and actually stick the fish, but it got stuck in the weeds. I'd say it's probably three pounds, you know, maybe two or three pounds, but just by how much it was fighting. I was using a little bit heavier tackle, so I'm not used to that. But I just want to talk about this. You know, I just finished editing the video. I just want you guys to know why I uploaded this video. I now this is never gonna happen again unless something interesting happens or something. I don't usually upload a video if I don't catch a fish in it. I at least catch if I don't catch any more than like two or three fish, I'm not gonna upload the video. Because there's no point, you guys. I don't want to waste you guys' time with the video with no fish in it. But I hope you guys at least found this interesting or learned something about fishing. You could have learned that I, I literally can't catch a fish, and that's not a joke. I'm literally gonna go home from work tomorrow. I'm gonna go trout fishing. Because I know I can catch trout. That's my i I'm really good at catching trout. I'm gonna go trout fishing. I'm done with that bass fishing. Until, you know, later in the week, I'll go look in. But I'm going trout fishing. I'm going to hopefully catch some trout. So thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot you guys actually watch it. And do you guys know my video has 4,300 views, my tarpon fishing video. I did promote it. That helped. But literally, 4,300 views. You guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for even watching. Probably nobody. They just watched the video. I'm like, oh, that's cringy and left. But anybody who is watching from that video, thank you guys so much. I hope if it hits 5,000 views, that's going to be... It's gonna be a milestone. I haven't had a fishing video hit 5,000 views before. It's pretty cool, and it was a really good video. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's, it's pretty. It was a pretty good video, I have to say. So I'm gonna stop wasting you guys' time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like my green screen editing. Till I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.